Hey, what's up everyone? I hope you're all having a wonderful day or night. I hope you will enjoy today's video, so let's just get into it. I don't know who needs to hear this, but be meaner. You can be way meaner. Do it. Ooh, not you. No, she wasn't talking to you. No, people are already scared of you. You could actually, like, take it down a couple notches. No, no, she was talking to me. Not sure I can get any meaner, but I'm gonna try. If for nothing else, I'm known to go on TikTok to look for advice. I mean, who doesn't, right? So, I decide to download Hinge, right? I'm going through something. I don't care. Call me crazy. First, first thing I see. I hate it here. I hate it here. What, what are we doing? Why? And why did this have to be the first thing I saw? This, this did it for me. I'm done. I've seen what I needed to see. I, I have to go. It's not even an okay bye. It's just goodbye. And goodbye to you, daddy. You're just mad there was no sugar in front of daddy. Oh, I redownloaded Hinge for the 18th time this month and didn't find my husband in the next 5 minutes because I'm going through some stuff. No, I'm gonna delete Hinge, cry about it on TikTok and try again next week. How are you high maintenance girlies affording life right now? Genuine question. Like, how are you affording the nails, the toes, the skincare, the pretty hair, the super nice clothes? Usually when you're a high maintenance person, you have a nice car, um, the Botox, the anything, like anything. How are you affording that? Are you doing some sketchy things online, if you know what I mean? You know, like, you look beautiful, but I'm just curious how you're affording that life. The majority of them don't. Even with the sketchy things online, the majority of them only make enough money to afford water. Most of the influencers you see online pay professional photographers to take pictures of them next to nice cars, private jets, but in reality they can't even afford to fly coach. The ones that do fly out to whatever place on someone else's money, somehow for some weird reason never show the one that fly them out. Also for some weird reason they never talk about the stuff they had to do after some guy fly them out or explain the reason they can't sit for a week after a trip like that. I despise chest hair on men because one time I went home with this guy who had obviously like shaved his chest hair and then it was growing back and we were like, you know, and I woke up the next day, I left his house at 5 a.m. because I had uni classes and you know what, I'm not wasting an absence on a one night stand. And so I like leave at 5 a.m., I go home, I'm washing off my makeup and I'm like, wait, why, why, the f why does this sting? Why does this hurt? So I like turn on the light and I like see my face is like bright red. This man's chest stubble had like scratched up my face <laughs> and gave me a rash. And I couldn't, like, wash it or put moisturizer on it for, like, three days. So, I hate chest hair. I, I can't do it. I can't, or at least if you shave it, I can't. Uh, it stung so much. Yeah, I know. What's up with that? Look at him and his audacity to go for a clean look. He should fight one of the two triarchy and let his hair grow. Or you could not spend that much time rubbing your face on his chest. You were taking off makeup, whatever was not left on his chest, and then you turned on the lights? Why were you taking your makeup off with the lights turned off? Were you not able to look at yourself in the mirror after an experience like that? Ah, well, at least you made it public for everyone to see who you are. I'm very honest with my boyfriends on the fact that I have a lot of boyfriends and sometimes they try to complain about it and I'm like, are you trying to make me your girlfriend? No? So sh fuck up number 32. I don't even like you like that anymore. Obviously, they don't like you like that either. And if none of them wanted to make you their girlfriend, you don't have a bunch of boyfriends. What you have, you have a train and you're the choo-choo little engine that could. Tips and tricks to make your girl happy and to keep her happy part seven. Ask her to go with you to do random sh okay? You need to pump gas? Babe, do you want to come pump a gas with me? You need to go to the bank? Babe, do you want to come to the bank with me? 
Yeah, I'm gonna stop you right here. That's not an advice for men. That's just you. And you're pretty clingy, not gonna lie. I'm sure there are a lot of men just like you and I hope you find one of them. I'm not like that. Can I not have half an hour just for myself? I need that. And there are a lot of women who need that too. You, you're just not for everyone. Oh my god, what are you watching? Uh, the game? Oh my god, that's so nice. It kind of was until 10 seconds ago. Don't you have some gossip with your friends to do? If you are two dudes that are taking a girl home and you're going to tag team her, let me just say, the more like banter and, between the two guys, yeah, more the more like banter and camaraderie that there is between the two guys, the more the girl's going to enjoy it. Because yes. I've, I've had a lot of threesomes with two guys and the times where the two dudes are like into it, like as friends and like buds and like really like a, a true tag team. It is so fun. Yeah. It's when they act like they don't want to touch each other and like want to ignore that the other's in the room that I'm like, what the f*** are you doing here? I know. At one point, like, this one is not guy... fun for me. Yeah, I'm sure if they're high-fiving each other while doing you, that's what they're considering, your pleasure. And it's not really rocket science. If they're friends, they're gonna high-five each other. If they never saw each other before, they're not gonna be best buddies and have banter or whatever else you said. Every relationship ever is just a man constantly having to improve for his lady. There's this new TikTok trend where girls are like, the moment I realized my boyfriend hated me. And then they tell a story and it's the same goddamn story. This creator is missing a huge part of this conversation, which is that women are taught from a very young age that it is our job to be pleasing to men, to look nice for men, to act nice for men, to um, be in service of men, to create our world and our lives around men and propping them up. We've been taught our whole lives that our purpose is to be here for men. Oh, you poor little thing. Can we stop with the lies already? The only thing you've been taught your entire life was how to be a princess, how to get the princess treatment, how to not accept less from men, how to not accept the bare minimum, and all the other crap. And the only thing men are taught is how to treat you as a princess. That's why you have that shocked look on your face the first time a man is telling you no. Just stop with the lies already. Unpopular opinion, but I literally think that women should be paid to exist. Oh, goodness. And why is that? I know y'all are probably gonna be like, what? But no, follow me on this. Follow me on this. I really hope that one is bringing a map and a compass along for this little journey. So one, like, our bodies literally create life, y'all. Like, literally, no, they don't. It takes a male and a female to create life. But let's continue. Like, that within itself... Like, it beats any freaking invention that a man can come up with. Like, any tech company. Like, no. No. Like, wow. If only it were true that a woman's body created life, uh, that would mean something. So, one, that's why we should get paid. Um, and then even women who, like, are, have already had children, they should still get paid because guess what? What? Like, the life of a mother. Like, that's a whole job within itself. What about fathers? I literally think that we should receive monthly incomes for being women. I know that sounds ridiculous, but I'm being so serious. I'm being so serious. And that was almost the saddest part of the whole video, next to thinking that a human being should be paid to exist just because they have certain body parts. And not for nothing, I think she's already been paid just to exist. And yeah, I know, that's just for 18 plus years, and maybe that's the reason she's so mad. Congratulations, you're an influencer. Anyway, this is gonna be the end of the video. As always, I do hope you enjoyed it. If you didn't, I still appreciate you for making it this far. Thank you all so much for watching. Stay safe and I will see you in the next one.